We begin with some breaking news. Police in southern Germany have arrested two suspected Russian spies. Prosecutors say the two dual German-Russian nationals were taken into custody in the city of Bayreuth. They're accused of plotting sabotage attacks designed to undermine military support for Ukraine. Authorities say the men were planning the attacks in coordination with the Russian Secret Service. Right, let's cross over to DW Chief Political Correspondent Nina Haza now. Nina, what more do we know about the two alleged Russian agents? They are dual citizens, so have a German and a Russian passport, and they're named as Dieter S and Alexander J by authority, so no last names given to us because of Germany's privacy rules. They were arrested in the south of Germany on Wednesday morning because uh, they're said to have spied on US bases and planned attacks on military transportation routes on Vladimir Putin's orders. So the main person accused here is a 39-year-old man, Dieter S. He's accused of Secret Service agent activities and um, also security endangering imaging of military facilities. So he's um, accused of having taken photos of military bases. Um, specifically, he is alleged to have been in contact with a member of the Russian Secret Service and to have worked with him on sabotage plans in Germany since October last year so 2023, um, and he is said to have agreed to commit explosives and arson attacks on military infrastructure and industrial sites in Germany with the goal to sabotage military aid from Germany to Ukraine, and he was helped, allegedly, by Alexander J. Um, now, we're talking about a U.S. base in the south of Germany in Grafenwehr. Uh, the U.S. military trains Ukrainian soldiers there. And as to a motivation, Nina, for alleged operations like this, why is Germany a target for Russian intelligence? Well, Germany over the last two years has become the second biggest supplier of weapons to Ukraine after the United States is in a, a very important supporter of Ukraine also in other fields when it comes to financial and humanitarian aid, when it comes to helping the country uh, with the recovery and reconstruction where it's possible. Um, so the U.S is, of course, also a supporter of Ukraine and has large military presence in Germany. Um, and this is not the first time that we're hearing about Russian spies being arrested in Germany. There's currently actually a trial against a member of the German Domestic Intelligence Service, BND, and a colleague, a businessman, and they're accused of passing on classified documents to Russia's FSB service in the period between September and October last year and receiving some money for that. Of course, Germany also has a large Russian-speaking minority, so they are explicitly targeted by Vladimir Putin. What happens next, Nina? Well, a judge on Wednesday ordered for Dieter S to be kept in custody pending a possible indictment, and uh, his colleague Alexander J is expected in court on Thursday, but that's going to happen behind closed doors. DW Chief Political Correspondent Nina Haza, thanks so much.